Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking the word. Today, we're uh, looking at verse 17 in chapter 1, and um, that verse says this. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. We talked about yesterday about God providing, and God provided that huge fish. Let's talk today about the huge fish. That is a big deal because people don't believe, oh, a huge fish could swallow that person, and it's debatable what huge fish, okay? I'm wearing my Cuba hat today, bang, 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 right here, because um, off the coast of Cuba, um, they don't allow uh, fishing by the local people, um, and they're, so it's fish very little, okay? So there's, when you talk to different people from around Cuba, it's, um, heavily rumored that there are some large fish and some TV shows have been done there um, to show the large fish because it hasn't been fished so large fish like to hang out around the coast of Cuba. But let's talk about the the fish. There's been several books um, written and one is by uh, Grace W. Kellogg um, for, called The Bible Today and it can, contains a list of author, authorized authenticated records of living th things that fish have um, have swallowed and, and then been rescued alive. Um, but let me go over some things. These are, are facts where people, not people necessarily, but things have been swallowed by several varieties of large fish and lived, or it was possible to swallow them. Okay. So um, I'm going to go through, it's, it's a, a list. And hopefully after I read through this list, and this stuff is not in the Bible. This is um, uh, scientific research papers and, and uh, journalism uh, documents that show um, actual fish swallowing things, okay? The Mediterranean white shark, sometimes measures 15 feet long, has been known to swallow a man whole and even a horse. Uh, second thing, two deep sea creatures could easily have swallowed Jonah. The sulfur bottom whale, okay, and I'm not going to give a scientific name for that, and the whale shark. Without any teeth, these two fish feed by opening their great mouths, submerging the lower jaw, rushing through the water at a great speed, and after straining out the water, they swallow whatever is left. A 100-foot sulfur bottom whale was captured out off of Cape Cod in 1933 with a mouth of 10 or 12 feet wide. That's wider than, you know, a lane of traffic on the interstate. The stomach of these whales has has four to six compartments, and the head of the whale can form an air storage chamber, an enlargement of the nasal sinus, often, often measuring seven feet high and seven feet wide, and 14 feet long. Huh. Enough room to live in there. In 2011, Mercio Handler photographed a diver who almost got sucked into the mouth of a massive whale shark during a feeding frenzy where more than 600 of the 40-foot so-called shark suckers gathered to feed on tuna spawn. The mouth of the whale shark can be up to one and a half meters wide, containing up to 350 rows of teeth. This type of shark, the sea's largest fish, is an actually incredibly docile. So despite their size, they do not pose a risk to divers. The largest recorded specimen was 12 and a half meters or 41 and a half feet long, weighing more than 21 and a half tons and had a girth of seven meters, caught off the coast of Pakistan in 1947. All right, um, and then Dr. Ransom Harvey, he's quoted in the Cleveland Plain Dealer, reported that a dog was lost overboard from a ship and six days later was found in the head of the whale alive and barking, okay? Dr. Dixon found in a museum in Beirut, Syria, a whale shark head big enough to swallow a man. He also notes that the Mediterranean white shark swallowed a whole horse while another swallowed a reindeer with its horns or a whale or, or a whole sea cow with a, and about the size of an ox. Okay, that's a large stuff to swallow. And this is in the Mediterranean where this would have taken place. Keith Robinson and Donna Parham, they're both of SeaWorld, speculate that the Mediterranean great white shark could swallow a person whole, 
They state, stated that the elephant seals become bigger than killer whale and are one of the favorite meals of the great white shark and are also told of seeing a photograph of a great white shark opening its mouth and it had within its gullet a whole six foot blue shark. So it could easily have swallowed a man. With the metabolism of a shark and in cold water, a human could, body could last three days without deterioration. Okay. Those are just a few things um, that I found as I did some research on the possibility of a fish. Okay. And the Bible says, um, you know, a huge fish. The NIV says a huge fish. Uh, some translations say a whale. Uh, but a huge fish of some sort uh, swallowed Jonah. And it is possible for him to live. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to get, get into the controversy. Did he live or did he die um, in that uh, great fish? But we have... Um, you know, earthly evidence here is scientific evidence showing that it's possible to have a fish that could swallow um, a man. Okay, it, 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 that, that's. But even if if we didn't, we can still believe the Bible that God could provide this monstrous fish for one-time use to swallow the swallow Jonah, and then that fish would never be used again. So, anyway, this is just um, an episode on the fish that uh, Jonah uh, would have been swallowed up in. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking the word and we'll see you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Jonah. We'll see you then.